This video is about the uh, <clears throat> so-called mountain, mountain Rocky, Rocky Mountain Meteor of 1972, which was seen on August 10th, 1972, flew across from Salt Lake City to approximately Edmonton, Canada. Its perigee longitude was at 112.993 west <clears throat> as shown in this diagram. It was photographed <clears throat> The best photograph with a landmark was from Jackson Lake, Wyoming, uh, which you see here. And <clears throat> from Coulter Bay Marina, where the photograph was taken, to Mount Moran, can be looked up on Google Maps to see the direction. Um, and as in this first, in, in the first diagram, the map, I'll show it here again. Um, you can see that line of sight shows that it was <clears throat> 100 and about 125 miles away from the camera based on the distance from the camera to, to the peak of Mount Moran and the elevation of Mount Moran from the lake which can be researched on Google 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 Maps <clears throat> um, Mount Moran rises above Jackson Lake about 5200 feet <clears throat> and um, is about 3.6 miles as shown here in this picture <clears throat> with the di with the increments about 3.6 miles from the camera knowing that the uh, object was about 125 miles away <clears throat> one can determine that its actual diameter based on what you see in the photograph of it, its size compared to the size of the mountain of Mount Moran, the diameter would have been about two two miles in diameter. So had it hit the uh, earth at perigee in uh, northern Idaho on the I Idaho Montana border, we'd we'd have been <laughs> in deep doo doo. We'd have had a big problem. Um, this thing was traveling at about 15 miles per second, which I believe I believe is about 26,000 miles per hour. <clears throat> um, the meteor that is accepted now to have wiped out all life on Earth, half of all life on Earth, including the dinosaurs, 65 million years ago, was 10 miles in diameter. They figure landed in the Yucatan Peninsula. The crater's still there. This wouldn't have been a extinction event, but it would have been an, a, a, probably a nuclear cloud event for North America, nuclear winter event, and uh, wipe out for several states in part of Canada, including uh, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, Quebec.